Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh <laughs> Guess what, guys? So, um, today I'm going to be uh, finding out how to fix a laptop that has vertical lines like this. It's like sort of really weird. Like, there are these times whenever it's like normal, but then it just suddenly turns into this. And then there's other times like that. So, ooh, that sound. I'm going to research and I'm going to get back to you guys. Okay guys, so, whoa, that was weird. So uh, it turns out that um, if it does this, where it changes if you like press firmly with two thumbs, you just have to find the right place, it like changes. Sometimes it goes back to normal if you keep it there, but if it changes like that, that means it's your screen. That's the problem. So. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to fix that. So, um, first thing you want to do is you want to power it off, close it, then you want to turn it over, and then you see this? This is the battery. You want to switch it to that side where it has that unlock symbol, then you want to push this tab in. Battery pops right out. This is a 15BS family of uh, the HP laptops. And then you want to turn it over again. And if you look at the frame, you just got to find the right place. And then if you can't really uh get it, then just use a kitchen knife. Honestly, I use a kitchen knife for the whole part. Just turn it and snap it. That way you can get a grip on it. And then you can just snap it all around. Make sure you don't break it but just be sure to take it off. So once you get to the bottom part, it's sort of hard. You might need the knife again. Because down here, they have adhesive. It's like a really sticky tape. And then once you have it out, just adjust it, because it clips right here. So just need to adjust it a little bit, move it back and forth. And then it snaps right out. And then it's easier to take the second half out. There. And then you have your screen right here. Now, for me, if you don't have any, uh, like, micro screwdrivers, then you can use a knife. There are two screws up here on both sides. On both sides. And then there's a screw down there. Right there. On both sides. So, um, I'm going to take those out. And then I'll get back to you after that. All right, once you get those uh, whoops, six screws out, at the top, I don't know if you can see that or not. It up. There. At the top, there's like this metal bracket. Just kind of move that to the side, and then that tab. Move it on this side too, and there should be a tab right there, and then you just got to slip the screen out. After that, there is a connector down here. And then to remove that, all you need to do is uh, like take a knife and like slide that tape over. And then you just gotta gently pull back. And then it disconnects. And um, here you have the screen. Now, once you have the screen, Look for the model number down there, and uh, for this model number, it says B156XTK01.0. Now, once you look for that online, just uh, ordered it. It's pretty cheap, about eighty dollars. And um, actually, if you go out and have someone fix this for you, it's like over a hundred, maybe even two hundred. So um, yeah, that's why it's better to fix things yourself. So guys, uh, I ordered my screen from uh, Bright Focal on Amazon, and so uh, I'm just going to open it.
Usually you wouldn't see someone my age doing this. Thank you for your purchase with us. All new screens from the factory are slim replacement when we put back on the front side. Okay. Now, just in case, once you buy it, it might be, uh, it might be just a little bit different. Look for the model number, okay, again. And, uh, if it looks the same, if everything is the same as your old screen, same size, and, um, everything is alright, then you can put it back in. Now, please remove screen film before install a piece of start from the corner. That corner. Alright. Actually, I can do that after I screw it in. So, uh, I'm just going to, uh, screw it in. And then I'll take off the screen cover to show you guys. Oops, almost forgot that you have to slide the connector back in so that the screen actually works. So I'm just gonna slide that in. Come on, just get in there. There, once I have that in there, just flip the tape back over, let it stick, and then uh, you can screw it in. Alright guys, I'm about to show you something so satisfying. Oh yeah. So, uh, once you're done screwing all of that in, then you just want to put the plastic frame back on. And uh, first you want to insert the two tabs into the hinges again. The two tabs, like at the bottom, there's like two tabs. You have to insert them like behind the hinges. Once you do that, then you can like start clicking it and snapping it back. trouble here. Okay, and uh, yeah. Alright guys, once you've snapped that back into place, then you just gotta close it, turn it over, get that battery from earlier, and then just slip it right in. And then move that tab to the lock. And then once you're done with that, then you're good to go. And uh, the reason why I wanted to fix this is because uh, my mom said that if I fix it, then I can get it and I can keep it. Because like I've always wanted to, wanted a laptop, and uh, now I fixed it. So, yay! The thing is, you don't see very many kids my age do this because it's usually like fifty-five-year-old men. So yeah, I hope this was helpful to you. And uh, I haven't seen any other YouTube videos that actually help and explain the problem. But, uh, yeah, I hope this helped. Thank you very much. So, guys, um, I'm not going to be gaming on my Xbox anymore. I'm going to be using this laptop to game. So let's power it up and uh, let's see if it works. Oh, my God, it's perfect. So guys, um, I'm actually going to factory reset this laptop, so this is where I'll be gaming that from now on.